Hello viewers, my name is Saad and I am a digital content creator, welcome to Knowledge Builder. ChatGPT is a variant of the popular language model GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, developed by OpenAI. It is designed specifically for use in chatbits and other conversational AI applications, where it can generate human-like responses to user inputs. The use of chatbits and other conversational AI applications has become increasingly prevalent in recent years with applications ranging from customer service to language translation to virtual assistants. These applications rely on the ability of AI models to understand and generate natural language, and ChatGPT is one of the leading models in this field. Chat Optimizing Language Models For dialogue, we've trained a model called Chat which interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for Chat to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. Chat is a sibling model to Instruct, which is trained to follow an instruction in a prompt and provide a detailed response. We are excited to introduce Chat to get users' feedback and learn about its strengths and weaknesses. During the research preview, usage of Chat is free. Try it now at chat.openai.com. Samples. In the following sample, Chat asks clarifying questions to debug code. User. This code is not working like I expect. How do I fix it? Chat. It's difficult to say what's wrong with the code without more context. Can you provide more information about what the code is supposed to do and what isn't working as expected? Also, is this the entire code or just a part of it? User. Just part of it the error never surfaces. I think there is something wrong with the channel. Chat. It's difficult to say without more information about what the code is supposed to do and what's happening when it's executed. One potential issue with the code you provided is that the result work error channel is never closed, which means that the code could potentially hang if the result work error channel is never written to. This could happen if B result worker never returns an error, or if it's cancelled before it has a chance to return an error. To fix this issue, you could close the result work error channel after writing to it. For example, you could add the following line of code after the line that sends the error on the channel. Methods. We trained this model using reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, using the same methods as Instruct, but with slight differences in the data collection setup. We trained an initial model using supervised fine-tuning. Human AI trainers provided conversations in which they played both sides the user and an AI assistant. We gave the trainers access to model written suggestions to help them compose their responses. To create a reward model for reinforcement learning, we needed to collect comparison data, which consisted of two or more model responses ranked by quality. To collect this data, we took conversations that AI trainers had with the chatbot. We randomly selected a model written message, sampled several alternative completions, and had AI trainers rank them. Using these reward models, we can fine-tune the model using proximal policy optimization. We performed several iterations of this process. New GPT-3 capabilities. Edit and insert. We've released new versions of GPT-3 in Codex which can edit or insert content into existing text, rather than just completing existing text. These new capabilities make it practical to use the OpenAI API to revise existing content such as rewriting a paragraph of text or refactoring code. This unlocks new use cases and improves existing ones, for example, insertion is already being piloted in GitHub Copilot, with promising early results. Inserting into the middle of text, the new insert capability adds contextually relevant text in the middle of existing content. Providing future context to the model can improve the quality of completions for applications, such as writing long-form text, transitioning between paragraphs following an outline or guiding the model toward an end in. In the example above, the desire is to fill in text between two section headers of an outline. Without the context of future sections, the model generates a completion that isn't relevant to the second section. When the context of future sections are accounted for, the model generates a completion that ties the two sections together. Insert is particularly useful for writing code. In fact, Codex was our original motivation for developing this capability, since in software development, we typically add code to the middle of an existing file, where code is present before and after the completion. In the example above, the model successfully completes the missing function prune, while connecting to code already written. We also add a doc string and missing imports, which is not possible without knowing the code that comes after. In GitHub Copilot, insert is currently being piloted with early promising results. The insert capability is available in the API today in beta as part of the completions endpoint and via a new interface and playground. The capability can be used with the latest versions of GPT-3 and Codex 
Text Da Vinci 003 and Code Da Vinci 002. Pricing is the same as previous versions of Da Vinci. Editing existing text. A meaningful part of writing text and code is spent editing existing content. We've released a new endpoint in beta called edits that changes existing text via an instruction instead of completing it. The edits endpoint is particularly useful for writing code. It works well for tasks like refactoring, adding documentation, translating between programming languages, and changing coding style. The example above starts with JSON input containing cities ranked by population. With our first edit, Codex removes the rank field from the JSON and changes the state abbreviations into full names. The second edit converts the JSON file into YAML return from a function. Editing is available as a specialized endpoint in the API and through a new interface in Playground. It is supported by models text DaVinci Edit 001 and Code DaVinci Edit 001. The edits endpoint is currently free to use and publicly available as a beta. GPT-3 powers the next generation of apps, applications and industries. To date, over 300 apps are using GPT-3 across varying categories and industries, from productivity and education to creativity and games. These applications utilize a suite of GPT-3's diverse capabilities and have helped us discover new ones. A few of these include, Viable helps companies better understand their customers by using GPT-3 to provide useful insights from customer feedback and easy-to-understand summaries. Using GPT-3, Viable identifies themes, emotions, and sentiment from surveys, help desk tickets, live chat logs, reviews, and more. It then pulls insights from this aggregated feedback and provides a summary in seconds. For example, if asked, what's frustrating our customers about the checkout experience, Viable might provide the insight. Customers are frustrated with the checkout flow because it takes too long to load. They also want a way to edit their address in checkout and save multiple payment methods. GPT-3's ability to identify themes from natural language and generate summaries allows Viable to give product, customer experience, and marketing teams at companies across industries a better understanding of their customers' wants and needs. Daniel Erickson, CEO of Viable, Fable Studio is creating a new genre of interactive stories and using GPT-3 to help power their story-driven virtual beings. Lucy, the hero of Neil Gaiman and Dave McKean's Wolves in the Walls, which was adapted by Fable into the Emmy Award-winning VR experience, can have natural conversations with people, thanks to dialogue generated by GPT-3. Lucy appeared as a guest at Sundance Film Festival 2021 and presented her own movie, Dracula. GPT-3 has given us the ability to give our characters life. We're excited to combine an artist's vision, AI, and emotional intelligence to create powerful narratives and believe that one day, everyone will know a virtual being. If you are liking my video, please subscribe to Knowledge Builder. Also grab a cup of tea, as the topic is interesting and important in today's world of innovation and technology changes. Algolia uses GPT-3 in their Algolia Answers product to offer relevant, lightning-fast semantic search for their customers. When the OpenAI API launched, Algolia partnered with OpenAI to integrate GPT-3 with their advanced search technology in order to create their new Answers product that better understands customers' questions and connects them to the specific part of the content that answers their questions. Algolia Answers helps publishers and customer support help desks query in natural language and surface non-trivial answers. After running tests of GPT-3 on 2.1 million news articles, Algolia saw 91% precision or better, and Algolia was able to accurately answer complex natural language questions four times more often than BERT. We've seen great results from Algolia answers on questions that are difficult to answer with textual search alone, said Peter Buffington, product manager at ABC Australia. It was able to return very relevant, evergreen content from our news archives for questions such as why does a volcano erupt? GPT-3 allows Algolia to answer more complex queries than ever before, with our Algolia Answers product identifying deeper contextual information to improve the quality of results and deliver them in seconds. Dustin Coates, product and GTM manager at Algolia. Platform improvements. As we scale access, our team is continually improving the platform from implementing a content filter to offering new features for developers, including our recently launched Answers Endpoint, searches provided information, documents, knowledge bases etc. for relevant context to be added to the prompt before completing with GPT-3. Can be used to build applications like customer support bots with no fine-tuning. 
classifications and point, can leverage labeled training data without fine-tuning by searching for the closest examples with respect to the input query and adding them to prompt. It often matches the performance of state-of-the-art fine-tuned models, providing an automal solution that is easy to configure and adapt. Enhanced search endpoint provides the backbone for the answers and classifications endpoints that scales to a large number of documents, while also being cheap and fast. Safety, bias and misuse are important industry-wide problems we take very seriously. We review all applications and approve only those for production that use GPT-3 in a responsible manner. We require developers to implement safety measures such as rate limits, user verification and testing, or human-in-the-loop requirements before they move into production. We also actively monitor for signs of misuse, as well as red team applications for possible vulnerabilities. Additionally, we have developed and deployed a content filter that classifies text as safe, sensitive or unsafe. We currently have it set to err on the side of caution, which results in a higher rate of false positives. Prompt Library provides starter prompt design examples for dozens of use cases that users can begin programming with directly in Playground, like a spreadsheet generator grammar corrector, or airport code extractor. Customizing GPT-3 for your application, developers can now fine-tune GPT-3 on their own data, creating a custom version tailored to their application. Customizing makes GPT-3 reliable for a wider variety of use cases and makes running the model cheaper and faster. You can use an existing dataset of virtually any shape and size or incrementally add data based on user feedback with fine-tuning. One API customer was able to increase correct outputs from 83% to 95% by adding new data from their product each week. Another reduced error rates by 50%. To get started, just run a single command in the OpenAI command line tool with a file you provide. Your custom version will start training and then be available immediately in our API. How to customize GPT-3 for your application. Set up, install the OpenAI Python base client from your terminal. Set your API key as an environment variable. Train a custom model. Fine-tune the ADA model on a demo data set for translating help messages from Spanish to English. Use the custom model. Ask your customized model for a translation. Iterative deployment. Today's research release of chat is the latest step in OpenAI's iterative deployment of increasingly safe and useful AI systems. Many lessons from deployment of earlier models like GPT-3 and Codex have informed the safety mitigations in place for this release, including substantial reductions in harmful and untruthful outputs, achieved by the use of reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to Knowledge.